everyone, my name's Michaela and I have a business called Fit Chef Harrogate. I have clients throughout Yorkshire and I help people eat a diet that is fit for them. Uh, very much focused on personal nutrition, dietary requirements and any dietary restrictions. So I'm really passionate about making sure that people eat well for them. I am here today to show you how to make hummus really, really quickly and really simply and really cheaply because it, um, it upsets me how much you can be charged for it in a supermarket and there's absolutely no need at all for you to, to spend that kind of money and you also get a lot more if you make it yourself. I've managed to source some British chickpeas which I'm very excited about and uh, in order to, to make our hummus we have our chickpeas, we have tahini which is sesame paste, we have some lemon juice, we have garlic uh, and we have extra virgin olive oil, regular olive oil and some seasoning. Dead simple, that's it. The slightly time consuming bit is if you buy dried chickpeas, you then need to soak them and cook them. You can, of course, buy tin chickpeas, which are extremely convenient and easy to use. So if you prefer to, just pick up a can of those. Um, if you'd like to go for the dried option, it's preferable just to soak them in plenty of water overnight, and then in the morning, drain them, give them a wash, put them in a pan of cold water, plenty of water, because it's quite a reasonable cooking time, bring them up to the boil, and then take them down to a simmer and they'll take between about 45 minutes and an hour to cook. They taste much nicer and the texture is much nicer as well when you can control it yourself. So these have been cooked this morning, um, soaked overnight, give them a squeeze, you know they're done when they're easily squeezable. So much of the word. But um, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is add some of our cooked chickpeas to this um, jug. We have a whizzer. <laughs> You can use all sorts of different things. You could use a stick blender with a jug or a, a different type of jug. You can use one of those mini food processors or a big food presser. It doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Some people traditionally actually use pestle and mortar to make this, but that's really time consuming. So we're going to go with technology and, um, and do the wisdom instead. So I'm going to add and pour on the work surface about a third. weighed that for you. I'd say that's probably about 200 to 250 grams of chickpeas, but again, I don't weigh an awful lot, I'm afraid. I do lots of things by eye. So you probably get a fraction more out of a tin. Um, this is a fraction more than you get in a tin, but there we go. We need the space for whizzing. So to that, add your tahini. So I've got, that's probably about a tablespoon. And I really love it. I love the earthiness of it and the richness of it. So a good dollop, but I'd say that's probably about two tablespoons. I'm going to add some lemon juice. I'd probably add more than other people would, but I really like acidity in my food. And acid turns to alkali when you eat it. And lemon juice is good for your digestion as well. Um, half a lemon to start with, you can always add more later. And then I'm also going to add some garlic. Fish. This is a quite a big clove of garlic and um, you can obviously add as much or as little as you like. I'm going to say that with this one, I'm going to put in half of it to try and ensure we avoid affecting our breath too much. Just slicing it up is going to be whizzed so it doesn't matter exactly how you do it, but do try and give it a bit of a slice because if you put it in whole lumps they can get through and, and not get with so much. I'm going to free pour the olive oil first and I'm probably adding somewhere in the region of two tablespoons. It might seem like quite a lot and this is a, a food stuff that is quite high in fat but it's really really good fat you won't necessarily eat an awful lot of it but it, it also keeps really well. This is extra virgin olive oil. And the reason why we use two is if you use just extra virgin, which is quite bitter, the whole thing does become quite bitter. It can be a bit much, but you need the fat content. So I use regular olive oil just to take off the bitterness a little bit as well. So a fair amount of rock salt. It does take a lot of seasoning. 